Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Mousy, the ultimate SL Cloud Chaser. Thank you so much for being here and happy Friday to everyone. So what are we doing today? We are just like kind of running errands. So there are a couple things that I want to do. Um, I'm going to check out the 65 wind and grab sale to see if it's up. It typically is not up until 12 SLT time, but we'll stop by and maybe review what's out there. And if you like it, you'll just pop over. But um, I thought this would be a good opportunity for you to just hang out with me and go through my SL morning um, and my routines and do what I normally do, right? Uh, when I'm not filming. So some of the things that I typically do on Friday is because the 50 Linden sale is out. I'll check out some things that I might want to purchase on sale. Uh, I'll definitely go gotcha shopping. I do that almost every day. And so uh, this, uh, a little part of this video will be a segment in where I show you what makes me decide to buy a gotcha from a gotcha shop. So right now we're at gotcha shack, gotcha resale market, and I'm also a reseller. So although this person is reselling their gotchas, if the price is right, I'll purchase an item and resell it in my store as well. That's how I end up making uh, Linden's. And so last month I did a video, how much did my gotcha shop made? And I kind of estimated it and I thought it was like $11,500. But when I dropped in and exported the sales into Excel, it was actually like $16,500. And the last time I checked, which was before the 15th, maybe the 13th or the 12th, something like that, this month I've made $7,000. But at the end of the month, I will show you guys how much I've made because I just want to prove proof of concept and that you can make sales selling gotchas even though uh the gotcha trade has really changed right uh we now have my ponds where people know what they're gonna buy before they buy it so um events like epiphany is gone we do have some events like next up who still sells gotcha we still have the arcade and the reason i'm mentioning this is because arcade was running march 2024 and i wanted to know how much that impacted my sales before i did a fully fledged out gotcha video some of my friends was like you can't give out the secret sauce on how to start a gotcha business because then everyone's gonna do it and you're not gonna make money but I've never believed that I don't think that um, someone has to starve in order for me to prosper I just think that there's enough abundance to go around like look at plain potato chips right if you think about Lay's Ruffles um, hers or other brands like that or even off brands there are so many versions of plain potato chips and everybody's making money doing it and that's kind of how i feel about gotchas uh, or business in general or even think about weed in sl where people have blunts they have weed systems they have um there's so many people who's created gross systems and different kinds of things, and everyone seems to be somewhat successful with that. So I kind of don't agree with that philosophy. So I'm just doing my own thing. I think that um, for those in SL who don't create, like they don't know how to mesh and they don't know how to texture and uh, maybe they don't know how to create animations and things like that. This is a viable business still that can help you make money to pay your tier. It can help you buy clothes and go shopping and just thrive in SL without having to upload if you don't want to. It's gonna take a little bit for you to build your business. So I just wanna give you a few quick tips about gotchas. Number one is ask your friends and family in SL who have gotchas like just collecting dust in their inventory to donate them to you if possible. So that's number one. Number two, ask strangers like maybe you have something in your inventory like a free gift or something that's full perm or transferable just say look i will give you a transfer a full perm item or a transferable item a gift in my case i usually give out like um there's this thing that matt created it's uh it's a money knot that you throw at people and it just explodes hundred dollar bills and it's really fun and entertaining to use and it actually does melee damage too so it can be also used as a weapon i often offer that to people in exchange for gotchas i offered this to a random woman i didn't know and she gave me like 20 gotchas so this is just a few tips on how to build your inventory and then physically buying items so what you're going to do is you're going to scout out items that are less than 
the average cost or lowest cost on marketplace and relist it with a beautiful picture uh, a gotcha key a nice description and you're going to relist it to sell so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that and then we're gonna do a little shopping and I'll show you a project that I'm working on at the end of the video and that's what we're gonna do today so I hope you enjoy if you want to pause and grab a coffee I don't think this should be too long maybe about an hour or so um, I just wanted to kind of go through my routine, chill, hang out with you and drop some jewels and gems and a little bit of knowledge on you. So as I said before, we're at Gotcha Shack and I'm just going to show you a couple of items that I would purchase and I would not purchase and why. And then we'll just go on to my normal SL routine. OK, so let's get started. So this particular parcel or this particular store, what they're doing is they've kind of designed it for spring and it looks like kind of outdoor decor and gardening decor and I think it looks really beautiful I love the ambient sounds so let's look at the first item here so the first item here for sale it looks like soybean seeds carrot seeds lettuce seeds and it's on like a weather chair it's blue I do like the color and it says farmhouse local and it has like gardening tools and I think it's really beautiful I'm gonna lower the sounds just a tiny bit OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click buy to see how much it costs. It costs 100 Linden, right, guys? So do I want to purchase this item? Like, now, let me show you how I make this decision. So what I will do is can I, I'm going to go to edit listing. And the reason I'm going to go to edit listing is because I just want to jump over to marketplace. And sometimes when you do this in world versus on another uh, kind of tab, when you do this in world versus another tab uh it sh it takes a little longer to load up so i just want to let you know that so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to right click i'm going to edit the item and i'm going to copy the description so when i copy the description i'm going to put it in the keyword search here oh did i not copy it hold on a second so chair i think that's the last word let's copy that and then let's move that over here Okay, so now that we have that in here and we're gonna search this up, there's only one item for sale, which means that there's a good likelihood if I sold this item, it would sell and the person would actually buy it for me because I would price it a little bit lower. Now, my rule of thumb is, so this item is going for 200 Linden or 199 Linden and this is 100 Linden. Now, um, ideally I would have liked to price this for 210 or 205 Linden. In this case, you could actually do that, but you would just have to wait your turn. This person's item would sell first and then your item would sell second. Or if you're not in a rush to sell it, like I'm not because my store has, I don't know, over a thousand items in it, I could just price it at, at what I want. But if you wanted to sell it, make a profit, so perhaps that you could reinvest in your gotcha store and buy more gotchas, you would sell it maybe for 198, 197, 195. Don't go too low, obviously, because you want to make a profit. And um, Marketplace does take a percentage. I think if it's a $200 item, they might take 20 Lindens. I'm not really sure. If I'm not correct about the percentage, just let me know down in the comments below. But because I know this is a lot cheaper than what typically it would cost to get an item, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it. So I'm gonna go buy, I'm gonna buy this right now. And once I buy it, it'll end up in my inventory. So this is what I do. I purchase the item. Oops, let's do one thing. I'm just going to get rid of these HUDs really quick. So I purchased the item. And when you purchase the item, you have to be sure to take it. I take a picture of it. Sometimes I throw it up in Canva and remove the background, but I actually think the background's pretty, so I'm going to leave it. And let's just minimize this for one second. So it's here, right? And I am going to take a picture from this angle on with Gyozo, that's all I'm using. You can use print screen. I'm gonna get a little closer so people can see these items here. And I'm not like an amazing photographer or anything like that. All I'm doing is um, just highlighting the item and showing the details. Then once I'm done with that, I'll come out and I'm gonna make a video of it. So I'll go create a video like this. I'll zoom in, I'll go all around the product. to the back of the product. Shh. 
show all the details that I just mentioned before. And then I right click it. I show the land impact, which is five. And that's it. I just click here, right? So now I have a couple pictures and I have a video. I take the item, I go into my inventory. I already have a store guys, so you need a store, right? I right click the item and I move it to marketplace. You go to unassociated. So these are things that I sold that I'm gonna have to delete out. So once you delete it, it shows up here and you know it's deleted because it says out of stock and empty. So it's out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I would just double check these things and I'm just gonna go right here and just do a little bit of house cleaning. Let's just delete these items. Okay, let's just delete these items, delete, delete. I'll go back and delete it later because I don't want the video to be too long, right? So we're going to go on here and then we're going to get the rustic chair and we're going to create a listing. So we've gone ahead and we've done that. So now that I've created a listing, I'm going to go to Merchant Home. This is my marketplace and I'm going to go to Manage Listings. And this is the chair that I just bought. So I'm going to go to Actions. I'm going to edit that active listing this is a transferable item see description sometimes it's modified but it's definitely no copy so i just don't click modify there's no reason to discuss that at this point i take this copy and i copy the name of the item into the extended descriptions okay and i copy it into keywords oops I don't know why it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. I usually do this in another screen. So I wonder if that's the reason I just control V. I choose a category. What's the category? The category is gotcha. Search the category. I do that. And I'm going to set this price for 210 because I want to make $100, even though I paid $100 and I want, or maybe I should just set it for 222 And it may not sell as quickly because of this. And then I, I also want to absor have the fee absorbed, right? And now it's going to be time to upload the images. I don't have a gotcha key for this specific item. So just give me one second. I'm just going to rename some of the items that the pictures that I listed. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to put the video here. So the video's here and I'm going to put the images here and then we'll go back to do keyword searches. And I'm just going to use the best picture that I have. And I'm going to name it chair, chair two. You can't see me doing this. I'm doing this behind the screen, behind the scenes. Actually, let me check OBS to see if you can see it. Okay, no, you can't see it. So chair two, and I am going to go back and I am going to just take chair three. Chair three won't be my main picture. That's the picture that I zoomed in on, right? So I have my pictures labeled and I'm gonna go here. And you want the gotcha key if you have it, but in my case, I don't. I don't have the gotcha key. What I can do is I could look on the internet, like Google to see if it shows up somewhere. So I'm gonna just do that really quickly offline. Let me just see if I can find a gotcha key. And I'm just gonna do the second life. I just basically copy the name and second life and see if it comes up. And I did find a gotcha key, guys. So I'm gonna upload those gotcha keys as well to the marketplace listing. So there's a gotcha key and another professional ad picture. And I'm gonna set my picture as the main picture because I just think it's a better picture. So we're gonna click this, set as main. We'll come back to this and make sure it's changed. Now keywords is really important. So gardening landscape. Gardening tools. We're gonna put gardening tools, gardening seeds, garden, rustic chair, 
landscape. I, I hope I'm spelling that right. Landscaping furniture. And then I put my store name in. I don't know why I do that. I don't know if that helps anything, but I do that. I'm trying to think anything else I could put, like I can probably put why not, cause that's the name of the store. So I can add that. And let's just see what the name of the gotcha key is. Hold on one second, guys. It's the Donovan Rustic Garden Set Gotcha. I don't know if I have enough keywords for that, but let's try. So I have 20. Let's try. I don't think I have enough. No, I don't. So if I don't have enough, I'll take out like a description that doesn't really fit. I think gardening would actually be so let's take out rares and spares but typically i do put that in there but we don't need it right now and i'm going to change this to gardening right and then extended description basically just i give kind of my store policy that's what i typically do here and i just copy and paste something that i've used in the past so let me just find an ad and just put something that i've used in the past and show you guys what that looks like So I'll put something here that's like original product, no refunds, no redelivery. And why is that? It's a gotcha item. All gotcha items are no copy, transferable items. I'm not the creator of this item, but thanks for shopping rares and spares. Of course, I'll help anyone who comes to me. I'll let people know that I'm a reseller. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload it. So the main image is a picture that I took, but this is not the picture that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And this will now become the main and I'll up re-upload because sometimes it gets a little stuck. I'll re-upload the other picture that just gives additional detail and then we'll look at the listing together. So I'm happy with everything and how it's come out. And now it's time to look at the actual listing. So this is what the listing looks like. Why not Donovan Rustic Chair Set? Uh, these are the pictures that I'm often offering the person who potentially wants to buy this item. This is the gotcha key here the chairs here in item number 24 uh, and this is what it looks like if it's decorated other items within the set so that looks really pretty and this is the detailed picture I did not want to use so this is what that looks like and if I go to my store itself the chairs here in the store along with many other items that I'm selling so that's how I kind of like search for gotcha items and list them so I'm going to check to see if there's anything else here I could potentially sell and make money on. And what I typically do is I go for items that I wouldn't mind having in my house. Like I love food decor, food items. I love pets. So this orange is 75 Linden. I'm going to be honest, Ionic, I don't have a lot of luck selling Ionic items. But, the, but to be honest with you, I also... Let me just go to edit listing so that we could get back. I don't have a lot, a lot of luck selling Ionic items, but to be honest with you, it's hard to tell what's going to sell and what's not. There are some items I post and it sells within five minutes and it's things that I don't even think is going to sell. And then there's items that I think is going to sell that takes a little longer. It doesn't sell at all. So this orange set is 130 Lindens at its cheapest. So that means, um, let me do a little quick math. My brain is a little slow this morning, guys. Work, bear with me. So um, typically I would like to buy things that I could make like 150 Linden on. I could make 150 Linden. I could probably make 175 Linden. These two items would just have to sell first. So this is an item I would buy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. I'm going to take that. I'll list that later. I typically list like two items a day because this is just something that I like, right? So if I like it, I, I believe other people will like it too. I love food items. The pizza I do like. I do believe somebody would buy that. Uh, that's only 30 Lindens. I'm going to go off screen because it's a little quicker just to see how much money that this pizza is worth. The pizza is selling at its cheapest 150 Linden. And I actually have to show this to you guys. Let me show this to you guys. This pizza 
I'm going to make such a profit on. So we're going by re relevance. Okay, so let's go to low to high. 150 Linden is the cheapest this pizza is selling for. So I'm going to definitely buy this and I could set it for 149 and still make a huge profit. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this and I'll have to take and what I do is I'll just make my videos here in the store too. Sometimes I take a picture, but there's so many things on the table. It just doesn't make sense to take the picture now because I don't think I'll get a good picture or maybe I will. Let's see. So I'm just going to make a video here because this is something I'll post immediately. Don't mind my cam in, guys. That it's a really nice design on the pizza box too. All right, so I did a little video and let's just see how many land impact is. And that's just one. And I'm just gonna go check that off. And I'm just gonna take a quick picture as well. I'll just probably use Canva to get rid of the background. So we just have a picture of the pizza itself. So I have a picture of the pizza as well. Let's do another one because I have this person who's offline now and it's kind of showing up. Ooh. Okay. And it's kind of showing up in my pictures and I don't want that. So we're just going to take one more picture. So this is typically what I do. Um, I do have a lot of items that can post, but sometimes I want a little bit of variety. Like I have a lot of items in my inventory, like duplicates. This looks like a really delicious, um, like butternut squash soup so we have that that's really pretty uh let's see what else we have here is there anything that catches my eye so to me something like this would probably sell right because it's a wood barrel and i know a lot of people have like farms or they have and it's only 55 linden so a lot of people have farms they have like different like ranches uh they have certain sims that have like a gardening plot so it's quite possible that uh people would want to buy this just as a decor item um so i i will have this here as well so uh i think this is something that will sell so this is something i would look at so let's go over here and just check this so the wheelbarrow is selling for 70. The profit margin is not large enough for me to get this. So I'm gonna skip over this item. I do like the potatoes and carrots and stuff like that. And it's only 45 Linden. Let's see what that's selling for. And I need to leave the marketplace up. Oh, hold on a second. Marketplace listings. while we wait for that. And I'm part of uh, gotcha groups, right? So I see tons of gotcha rares and big sales. It says 500 Lindens. I have to see what the price of the gotchas are to, uh, are selling for a marketplace to see if that's worth it. But we won't do that now. So this basket is selling for 175 at its cheapest. I think with better pictures, it would move a little quicker versus just the gotcha key. And it's only 45 Linden. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that because I can make a pretty decent profit on that. And I'll come back. So I don't want to like, um, so that's how I kind of determine what goes in my gotcha store and what doesn't. And um, I hope that information was kind of helpful for you. Even if you don't want a full blown gotcha store, maybe you might want like um, a couple items that you could sell that you can leave in a store that you could perhaps make money in. I take this very seriously. So I have a goal and I pretty much upload every day uh, listings or post listings every day. Here is uh, my theory on posting on marketplace what if i skip days and posting which i rarely rarely do i notice that it impacts my sales where there aren't much sales but like let's say that i post 10 listings and i do it after work around six o'clock seven o'clock by the time i wake up i've made five sales or yesterday i worked from home so and i'm working from home today so 
after meetings, after I've completed a project and I have a little downtime, you know how people would scroll their phone at work or maybe listen to music or have little water cooler chat, go to the coffee room and chat and gossip with their coworkers. I'm home. So instead of doing that, I might shop for a little gotchas and then go ahead and post it online. So I basically posted gotchas all day yesterday and um, I did see an uh, impact to my sales. So let me just show you guys what that looked like. On the 18th but I did have a lot of low price items there so that's something I'm working on tweaking with my store like I think I have to determine what my price points will be at my stores how many like low cost items I have and when I say low cost like eight lindens right um, so I have 1,168 items in my store. So um, let's go to merchant home and we're gonna go to transaction history just so I could show you so on the 18th, I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, right? And they were small, like a $8 item, $31 item. Uh, the day before, on the 17th, oh, on the 18th, I also had a $4.99 item, right? I told you my store makes around 400 to 800 Linden a day on average. Very rarely does it go below that. Um, let's see what I sold. I sold a record player. That's what I sold. That was a high in price, a high ticket item. The 17th was uh, two items sold. And I think that was based on my posting because one day I didn't really feel like posting at all. I sold a skybox. That was like my highest ticket item. But when I notice when I post more, I sell a lot more. Oh, I think I literally just made a sale because I made it's the 19th. It's like 10 o'clock. No, no, this is not just a sale, but I sold three items today, right? Uh, let me just go back and see. So the 16th, uh, the 15th, th these are my sales, the 14th, the 13th. And I only count total received, like I don't count my listing price because, you know, money is taken out of this and i'm going to find something for two hundred dollars just to see what how much uh so 199 so if i sell an item for 199 i get 179 so they yeah linden labs takes like 20 dollars out of it and then these are my sales as of april 1st so i do sell every day this is something i do think is worth it um so this is a mini gotcha update at the end of the month i'll make a uh, I'll let you guys know what the sales were for the month of April and I'll just make a list. I'll make a video actually taking you through the whole process, getting free gotchas, shopping for gotchas. I showed you how to post the listings, but I'll just make it in one comprehensive video versus mixing it in with a shopping video, reviewing sales and what you can do to make your gotcha store stand out or make your listing stand out. And I kind of did that a few moments ago where I showed you to make the Gaiozo video. I showed you how to take the Gaiozo picks, how to list and making sure that you have a schedule to list and be consistent about it. So there's that. So we've gone ahead and done that. Uh, let's go. I want to show you guys a project that I'm working on or and then we'll do a little bit of shopping and then I'll timestamp all this stuff because my videos are a little bit unhinged and it's just like we're doing everything. So this is kind of one of my normal SL routines is go gotcha shopping and minim at minimum I post 10 listings per day. So that's what I do. All right. So that's number one. Number two, we're going to head over to my platform where my office is. And I'm kind of redoing the office, but I don't like it because it's dark. If there's any, um, I don't know how I want to decorate it. If there are any decorators here that are really affordable, if you're just starting out, I would love to hire you for my office. So um, I'll just show you what I'm working on. I'll show you rares and spares too, because um, now I have a whole store dedicated to it. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments. And also speaking of liking, be sure to like, comment. It helps with the engagement in the channel and it helps you to push it so that my Second Life videos actually appear when you type in Second Life because it's not doing that right now. All right, so this is the office. I kind of bought a receptionist desk. I bought like a waiting area because my idea for the business is I actually do want 
what I actually do want is people to come in and say, I have tons of gotchas, but I do not want to post. I don't want to list. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just want someone to do that for me. So let me go back to my gotcha store because I just want to show you something. And I'm going to show you this one particular listing, but I have tons of listings. So I have a few customers that I've listed for, and I just want to show you how distribution works so that you feel comfortable with that idea. So uh, let's go back to my store for a second. Not my account. Let's go to Merchant Home and Manage Listings. No, no, no. Yeah, Merchant Home and uh, or just view my store. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. So I want to show you this. So Mac asked me to sell his collection of bang toys, fuzzies, full set. This is going to be a little slower to sell because it's a high ticket item, right? But I want to go into the listing to show you something. So this is what my business model is and what I want my actual business to be is that so I created the listing for him. I set the price. Um, and I think it's pretty a fair, it's a fair price for what you're getting. So a hundred bands will get 80% of the profit once this sells and I will get 20%. So I, uh, there is a revenue distribution that's in the edit listing por portion of it. And, um, yeah, you can actually get, you can actually set it up so that the money automatically goes to the person who is giving you an item to list. So um, I'm gonna go back one step because I wanna show you what that actually looks like when it sells, because I feel like I've sold other stuff for Mac too. Okay. And I think I would have to go to my transaction history. So let's go back to Merchant Home. Let's go to transaction history. And I think this happened in February. Okay, so this is a perfect example. So we have an ultra rare bang figurine and um, I was paid $420, right? Oops, oh, I can't go into the listing, I forgot. So ultra rare figurine, I was paid $420 but I only received 189 because we had a split. And I think in this case, maybe we split it 50-50. So he got half and I got half. I wonder if I look at, uh, I'm just trying to see if I could find additional details that shows it, but it doesn't show the split. So it just shows received by your store after fees and distributions 189, but it doesn't show who received it. And I have a couple friends who asked me to list gotchas. So if you guys have any gotchas that you want me to list for you, I can definitely do that for you. And I could set up the distribution. So you receive 80% and then my store receives 20. Okay. Uh, office. I kind of set up an office. I want to put a chair here so that people can come in, give me their item. I can post it immediately for them and um, set up the distribution, send them gyozos and receipts so they have it. And then a little TV area, break room, something like that. So there's that in the store. And I would have to organize maybe the outside of it a little bit better. So there's the store, right? And this is something that I'm working on. So in real life, I have a dream and my dream is to own real estate. And I want to just start with one multi-tenant property. And, um, so it could be a retail space with two living units above or no retail spaces like just a three family house i'd want to live in one of the units and pay a nominal amount of rent and then have my tenants kind of cover the mortgage so i had this commission to be built and um, i wanted a bodega because it just reminds me so much of new york this section here is the basement area. So if you were to buy this build, you would have to terraform your land so that the basement area is below ground and this sidewalk would be at, it would look like this, but we can't go below ground because we're in the sky. So this is what the building would look like. Let me just back out. Oh, the windows are not linked. Shit, I didn't realize that, okay. Damn, I shouldn't have done that. Can I restore this to, no, no, I can't restore it to this last position because it's not in my inventory. I didn't realize the windows weren't linked. Okay, let's check. I think, I think this is good. I think this is good. 
I hope I didn't really mess this up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up and I'll just walk you through it. Um, there are some changes that's still needed. Okay, we're gonna go into the bodega part. So this is the store. I'm gonna put a sandwich counter in here or maybe someone could use it for whatever they want. But a sandwich counter is gonna go in here, shelves. There's gonna be a cat on bread because you know that's the security in the store and this is gonna be kind of like the bodega. That's the bodega portion of it. Okay, so we have that. So project that I'm working on. Let me fix my camera. Okay, and then Let's go inside. Sorry guys, my camming is a little wonky. So this is the basement. So it's like a kind of studio apartment situation. Um, I hit up the mesher and I told him like the physics is off here because I can't go into this room. So I'll just cam into it for you. Like maybe this is the bedroom. I'm not exactly sure what this is gonna be used for, but this is the bedroom. The physics just need to be fixed because some reason I can't go in there. But this is the basement guys. And it was this was really affordable. So another idea, if you wanna make a little bit of money in SL, I'm gonna sell this. So these are the stairs. <laughs> and I'm like walking outside the stairs. Okay, let me let me walk up the stairs properly. Whenever um, houses are tight like this, like my camming sucks. Sorry, guys. Okay, and I'm also recording it, so that doesn't help. I like literally went up these stairs with no problem. Why am I having so much issues right now? I'm like walking outside the stairs. I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. So let's go back to Mel. Let's go back to Melcy or Karma. So I'm going to ask him to, ooh, sorry guys. I'm going to ask him to put a banister right here because I just don't like this empty space that's here. So we're going to put a banister there. Okay. And this is unit number one. I might have him change the textures on the door. And definitely I asked him to change the textures on the, uh, crown moldings like the tops and the bottoms so there's a room here and I kind of did design this myself based on a New York apartment so we'll change the crown moldings to put paint there and there's room number two I did not lift the house high enough you see the gap by the window so let me just fix that let me just move it up a smidge I don't know if that's gonna fix oh it made it worse okay should I put it down then I think I think I should move the house down a smidge okay let me see okay that looks pretty good all right so that's one room there so it's like uh, two rooms here it, it's it still needs work it's gonna be linked don't worry guys it's like 70% done mm -hmm. and this is kind of like the kitchen living room area and then there's a bathroom here the third floor has the same layout. So that's the size of the room. There's that. I'm gonna talk to the guy who built it and put the uh, physics in. And, cause I don't know, I don't know why I, I tend to have so much issues like uh, going up the stairs, but it's just me. It's the physics is fine. Like other people come in here, it's fine. So I'm gonna have him put banisters all around here cause I don't like the way that looks. And I'm gonna have a scripter make this um, ladder kind of interactive. So you could climb up the ladder and go up through the hatch and have roof access, but I'll probably fly up there. Uh, the physics work, you can go down the hatch right now. I'm gonna have the windows open and I wanna put like a gesture sound because back in the day when I lived in the hood and I was super Dululu and I'd be like, I didn't even realize it. I would, people in my neighborhood would be open up the window, be like, you got hot water? Like to make sure the boiler was working. So I think that's funny. And so I wanna just do that again. So it's basically the same layout here. So we don't really need to go through it. It's two rooms here and then it's like a living room back here. Uh, maybe a kitchen would be here. Kitchen living room area, a little office nook maybe if you want that or maybe throw a bed back there because that's what actually would happen in inner cities and small like tenement apartments like this. And then this would be the bathroom. 
okay and i'll just show you guys outside the unit as well i wonder if i if i am raw enough to go fly up the hatch i don't think i am but we'll try uh so let's try to fly up it how do you fly so fly can i fly up the hatch I could probably come down from it, but I can't fly. So what I'm gonna do is this. I am gonna come up here and I am going to res a chair. So let's res a chair and sit here. There we go. And I'll show you the back. So there's a fire escape. The fire escape is gonna also be interactive, right? And so that's what the building looks like. And I'm gonna go down the hatch because my like um, uncoordinated self cannot fly up there. So I'm gonna talk to him about the stairs because I feel like the stairs are a little bit difficult. If you guys are familiar with building or it's, I don't know if it's like my camming and stuff like that makes it that way. If you're familiar with building, let me know if the stairs are off or I'm just, I just don't know how to walk if that's the issue. I see my friends go in and out with ease, but I always have a little bit of trouble. So there's that. So that's what that project looks like that I'm working on. It's like a bodega kind of New York City style building. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. And um, this is a house that I actually sold or listed, I should say. Uh, it's the Planka multifamily unit. I think maybe I was a little bit inspired by it. Uh, so it has three floors as well let's close this door i'm gonna add mailboxes to mine too like it has a little mailbox the textures are it, it looks like kind of like asian style this is like a little studio apartment it's like the second floor or third floor i'm selling this one for 555 linden Oh, the doors are off here too. I don't know why we're building the doors are always off. Oops, let's go to the second floor. So this is what the second floor looks like with the patchy walls. So maybe this is a bathroom and this is like a all purpose room. So that's the second floor. So that's that. This is kind of my platform and my little work area. So that's what we have here. And so that's the projects I'm working on. This is kind of typically what I do in SL, how I spend my day. And once I'm done with my work, which doesn't take long, you guys saw how long it took me to list my gotcha. It took me like a few minutes. So once I'm done with my 10 listings a day, that's kind of my quota for the day. I just do fun stuff. Like I go shopping and things like that. So let's do fun stuff. Let's go shopping and let's just hang out. Can I stop this video for a second to tell you that I fucking love this skirt? This skirt is so gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to go back to Marketplace listings for a second. I think I was listing and then I ended up finding, uh, like, you know how you get advertised on the bottom? Let me just show you. And I bought I bought it for $250. And this is a gotcha top. It's the Mona Cloud. I'm actually selling it in my store as well. And it matched so perfectly with the skirt. So this skirt is kind of like more of an evening gown. So let's edit this. And it comes in other colors. I really love this. Let me just show it to you, the whole outfit. That's so funny. I put in the exact item and it's not coming up. So this is the top that goes with it, but this is the outfit itself. It's an evening gown. And I thought to myself, I could make this like more casual because I love the skirt so much. So let's make this a little bit more casual. These are the swatch colors it comes in like lilac, a blush, cream, white, black. You see it here, red, kind of more of a burgundy color, uh, hunter green, so on and so forth. So that's that. And I ended up buying this skirt here. And you guys see it's for Lara X, Gen X, Waifu, Reborn, Cupra, and Legacy. And I bought this yesterday for $250. And I was like, this is gorgeous. And basically it came up in like one of the marketplace featured items here. And it made me buy it. And then I paired it with this Mona Gotcha Top. Oh, I shouldn't have edited that. Hold on. Let me just show you. Or maybe I could go to my inventory. So let's just do Mona. 
I have so many of these tops, guys. So I'm going to just res out this gotcha item. So I, I paired it with, um, it's the cloud, like the fluffy shorts and the fluffy top, but this is what the shirt looks like. So I paired it with one, this shirt because I thought it matched it, the high-waisted skirt really nice. And this one is a navy, right? Um, I could list that. I'll probably list it before the end of the day. And I paired it with this top. Look how it's making the booty booty. Like that's really cute. And then I have my Tatum heels which is super cute. I love the high heels on my tippy. That looks really good. And it had a HUD where you can make the back purple. Love that. And I thought it was like a kind of funky outfit. I love the eyeshadow. We're going to go shopping for makeup because that's definitely something I want to do today. And, uh, and I just ended up getting this Sydney wig from like, I think it's Punk List. So edit. Yeah, Modals. It's a Modal Sydney wig with these things but i changed the hair base so i could have the heart hair base because i just thought that was really cute but anyways i really love my outfit today so i just wanted to show you guys where i got that from and where i got the idea so a lot of it i just shopped my own inventory and it was just this new skirt that made me that kind of inspired me to create this look let me know if you guys like it and then i had um like my van cleef inspired bracelet and um some kawaii rings from no rush and who is the bracelet from? The bracelet is from LC. I don't remember the name of this actual store. Hold on a second. CEO of, it's Lux Clothing, so Lux Code. So that's where I ended up getting the bracelet from. Yeah, so that's the look. I don't know if you guys like it. Let me know if you like it down in the comment section below. All right. So now let's get into some weekend shopping. So there was something that I saw that I actually really liked and that I wanted to check out. So uh, there are a couple things that I saw that I really wanted to check out. So should we go to the 50 Linden sale first? Hold on a second. Let me see. Let's go to 50 Linden sale first because there's two things. There was like uh, hamburger shoes and there was like the what's next lasagna that I really liked. So let's go to what's next and look at the lasagna. I want to see the texture in person. Okay. Let that resin. Okay. Where are your sale items? I hope you guys, ooh, there's a hero sandwich. I love food decor, guys. We're gonna go to Silver Spoon, too. I hope the camming, the awful camming, wasn't too distracting for you and um, you actually got some beneficial information. So there's a hero sandwich. It's Italian and vegan sub. That's really cool. And it dispenses. I wonder if an optional PBR version. Okay, that's cool. The lasagna, let's look at that. I do a lot of role play dinners like for my SL family, SL partner, friends, and I definitely wanted to get this. And it's part of the 50 Linden sale. So that's such a great price to get that for. And if you touch it, it says small size is for female avatars and the large size is for male avatars. Right click on each proc pork, fork plate and choose detach to remove. So let's get the small size as that's for female avatars. Look at me go. Mm. Somebody put their foot in this, man. This sauce is delicious. Who made this? Yummy. I love it. I'm so happy with this purchase. I was really excited to see this go on sale. Look at the layers and the brown crispiness of the cheese. I love that. All right, so let's detach that. And let's detach the fork. All right, now we're gonna go to the next place that I wanted to check out. I just wanna see if there's anything else in the 50 Linden sale that I want. And I do think it's just one more thing. It's, I wanted, I kinda like this also, this lamp, cause I think it would look really cute in my bedroom. So let me check that out. From Half Deer. And this is again, guys, part of the 50 Linden sale. The only thing I don't like is when you can't find items easily. What is all this stuff? Okay, there it is. Okay, so let's cam over here. So this is what the lamp looks like. Let's let it resin. That's really cute, guys. Like, I love animals, too. 
I don't know if I should get the pink or the lilac. Oh, the fox, this includes all. So there's a fox set or there's like a cat set. Let's get the sly fox set. I like that. I'm going to get the lamp. And I just wanted to check out, I don't really wear like slippers around online, but sometimes, very rarely though, I do kind of get dressed in my house. Like if I'm, if I know I'm not going anywhere, it's going to be a platform day. I might get dressed in like some house clothes or cozy clothes just to work all day and um, just be relaxed and have a cute fit on. So that's kind of why I was looking at this and the price is right. I, I wish, I hope someone tries this on because I kind of like it. Okay, the fat back includes all version lovers, all unrigged mesh fits most avatars, all versions. What are the different versions? Because I can't even tell the difference. All right, I'm just going to get one of them. I can't tell the difference. Oh, okay. It's closed eyes and open eyes. And I got the closed eyes ones. <gasps> I would have probably got the open, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still cute though. All right. So let's go on. I want to go to Silver Spoons, guys. And I want to go to Junk Food. Those are my favorite stores besides like looking for wigs and stuff that I like to stop by. So let's go to Silver Spoons and see if they have any role play food. If Res Room had sales every weekend, it would be a wrap. It would be over like I would be there every single weekend like I love my mesh pets I'm talking out loud all right let me just turn off my voice all right so let's see where the sale item is so it looks like it's a tomahawk let's look at that Ooh. is this salmon it looks like salmon salmon and shrimp how much is that 99 linden i don't know if i have it so i gotta check to make sure i don't have that these drinks are gorgeous beautiful it's 99 linden i definitely don't have the drink so let me get that the tomahawk gold leaf i definitely don't have either so i'm gonna buy that and i just want to check the salmon to make sure i don't have this one I definitely don't have the salmon. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the salmon too. This is a dispenser and fat pack only. It's like kind of a bag with fruit and drinks. That's really cute. I wonder what the name of this is. Oh, hold on. I, it looks like I keep clicking the booth. Okay, tropical passion drink. So these are only wearable only. Do I want to get this as an accessory? Guys, look at this buffet. I feel like I showed this to you guys before, but like if you're having a baby shower party or a birthday party or something like that or breakfast brunch, this is really beautiful. I like it a lot. All right, so I got my little food. I'm really happy with this purchase. All right, and I just want to do two more things. I want to go to, uh, I did go to sync earlier because I wanted to check out the dances, but I won't make you guys go through that. Uh, let's see. So I just want to check the 99 Linden sale really quick to see if there's anything that I like here. So there's cars, nails. Uh, let's go to Alba and look at some makeup. I'm definitely an eyeshadow girly, so let's check out some makeup. And I might be able to try it on because they do baked some mesh. So they have a flash sale of some tattoos here. So if you like that, and you can wear the tattoos separately. You don't have to wear all this at once. But there's some tattoos here. How much is it? What's your flash sale? 99 Linden? Okay. Respectable. There's the Bonita eyeliner. Do I have this? Bonita? I don't have it. Should I demo it? Why not? Let's demo some eyeliners. And then the 99 Linden. We have the eye details in the corner. I like that. I have the Iconica eyeliner, so it's very similar to that. So I don't know that I need to buy this one, but the inner corner eyes, yes. So let me just show you guys. So I have the Iconica. So I have this already. And there's another flash sale here. And this is Serene Liner. 
so let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna put my HUD back on and I'm just gonna clear my eye makeup for a second. What if I can't find it again? I love this makeup look. Mm. We're gonna have to take a risk. Okay, so one of my makeup looks is an applier. Just make sure my outfit is saved. This is not a June creation. This is a long, sexy skirt. Lilac top. And tippy heels. All right, and the date on this, let's change the date to 4 19 2024 and i should make sure all my huds is on all right let's copy this name really quick because we just want to make sure the hud is on let's cancel it i definitely want to just make sure my huds is on so i don't have to like search for them so i'm just going to go into old outfits and throw on huds So Reborn HUD and the Leluca HUD because we need that one right now so that we could get rid of the eyeshadow because I have this is a plier layer on top so I'm wearing two different eyeshadows right now so Leluca okay and now let's save the outfit as Okay, now we can save it. All right, so we got the HUDs on and now I know on 419, I definitely wore HUDs and I could go back to this. All right, so the first things first, let's go to the Luluka HUD and let's go to HD and let's clear off the eye makeup that I'm wearing now. So let's clear that. Oh, is that an applier? I didn't even need to do all this. All right, I didn't need to do all this. I thought it was an applier, but apparently it's not. Lashes, nails, brow, skin, and let's just do eye. Let's see. So let's take that off. Let's take that off. And let's take off this eyeshadow. Not Cassie. Cassie is like the kind of like gold studs at the corner. We don't like this. We don't need to take that off because I like that. That's my signature. So we're going to leave that on. But we're going to try on this other eye makeup. So let's see what this looks like. I do have under eye blush, but also like my signature makeup look. So we don't, we're not changing that. So let's try on the Serene eyeliner. Let's see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. It's very subtle though, but it's pretty. I do like it. All right. So that's the Serene. Let's see if I like anything better. This is the details eyeliner. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I like the inner corner. Inner corner, sold. Let's get that one. Details, let's buy that for sure. That's a yes. Let's accept that and let's take this off. And then we're gonna look at the Bonita eyeliner. For some reason, I, f I felt like I had that one already. Okay, and let's try the Bonita eyeliner. Let's see what that looks like. I have like um, glowy highlighter on my nose, forehead. Mm, this one's just okay. That one's just okay. So um, I, I think I'm okay with what I purchased. I'm not gonna put my eye makeup back on because there's another eyeliner that I wanna get. It's like a Nicki Minaj one where it's like the thick wing liner. So I wanna try that. And I also want to look at these earrings because I do love my accessories. Let's go to Berry Nice. Let's look at these accessories. And I'm just going to check the time. So we're at 58 minutes. So we're at about an hour. So I don't want to take too much of your time. I'll just take you to a few stores with me and then I'll let you go. All right. So let's see. Let this rest in. And where's the sale item? 
this little flat sandals for kids and adults that's cute and an usher tee that's cute this is a pretty ad and pretty obby okay it's outside lover girl earrings hmm So this is silver and this is gold. I'm gonna get the gold ones. And what are they selling here? Janice Morphe skin. Okay. All right, I got the earrings that I wanted to get. And um, let's just see if there's anything else that I want. So I want to go to cult, right? Because I wanted to discuss this with you guys. Let's say that you love the Tatum heels, which are the tippy heels where your heels are off the bottom of the sole of the shoe like this. And Tatum doesn't typically participate in a lot of the weekend sales. But let's say that you wanted to get this shoe. So what I do is before I pay full price for anything, I always check the weekend sales to make sure there isn't something similar. And the reason cult caught my eyes, besides the fact that one of my favorite shoes um, with the cross and the heels that I always wear is from cult is that I saw these tippy shoes here and I just wanted to see what it would look like. So I'm going to demo it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this ruching right here with the bow, but I like the bow on the heel. I love a platform stripper shoe. Look at this dildo shoe. That's too funny. Um, and this is what they're selling for K9. Oh, is someone wearing it? Because you'd make my life so much easier. Okay, yes. This is what the shoe looks like. So if you like the tippy heel, that's what that looks like. Um, and it usually comes with a big HUD, right? So MC Body Sparkle update. Okay, we'll look at that later. I gotta remember to look at that. Let me get rid of all these demos too. Just clean up my inventory a little bit. And I don't see the update. Anyways, let's try on these shoes, guys. And I wanna see if it has a purple and things like that. I don't see anybody else trying on the shoes. So let's try it on for Reborn. Does it come with a HUD? And it gives a HUD example. So let's see what the HUD example, what the colors are. I do see some lilacs and you change the bow, the soles, the laces and the shoe itself. So that's pretty good. And let's get rid of the Tatum heels. So this is what the shoe looks like. Are we loving the shoe? I don't mind the ruching actually, now that I'm looking at it here. I love the fact that it's lifting off and I feel it looks just as good. It looks just as good as the Tatum heel. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that because uh, I'm sure this is a shoe that I'm gonna wear all the time. I like the style. I definitely like the style. Um, I wear shoes like this all the time and I like the fact that it has um, a HUD. So I wanna just check out the HUD with you guys. So let's do that. So this is a Fat Pack 99 Linden. You cannot go wrong with a fat pack for 99 Linden. Now let me try the shoes on again. So for Reborn and then this time have the HUD and then we'll look at what's going on for the other sales if we have a chance. All right. Okay. So Kawaii Sunday, we have these. Get out of here. Okay, so for Kawaii Sunday. Okay. We have these shoes. I don't know if this is like my particular style. We have some monster sneakers and then Goat 66. I do like these too because yeah, I, I do like these too. Let me just pick up the demo of these shoes. How much is Goat 66? Only 66, okay, 66, you got it. I'll buy it, I'll, I'll buy it, it's fine. All right, so I put the shoes on. I love the sole color, okay. Okay, okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. So let's make the shoes lilac, see if that matches my skirt, which it does. Let's make the, it says laces, what are laces? 
Okay, laces is the scrunchy part. What color should we make the bows? Let's make the bows white. Hmm, do we like that? No, no, we don't. Let's make the bows lavender and keep everything else pink. Let me see the fit. Am I loving this? The lavender is a little off for me, but the shoes are still really beautiful. Ooh, I love these shoes. Guys, I like these shoes so much. Could you get out of here, Orange Cloud? I'm trying to do some examinations here. Okay, let me look. Ooh. I approve. Angel told me that my foot is mad ashy. She said, who made this skin with this ash? You need to put a little oil and lotion on your feet. It was so funny yesterday. All right. So, I mean, the shoes do not look bad with this outfit and it's priced well enough, right? So there's that. Um, I kind of like it, guys. All right. Let me put my makeup back on. My face has to be on point at all times. So. Oh. This is the wrong makeup. Ma'am, this is not the right thing. Hold on, take off. I love that eyeliner too. This is what we're doing. This is the makeup we're wearing. So this is the Iconica from Alba. It's that same store. Let me see if I'm wearing the right liner. Yeah, I think this is the blue one. Was I wearing blue? Was that what my intention was? Let's see what the number three is. I'm sure they have a purple one too, but I probably wore blue because it matched with the other eyeshadow. This one's pink. All right, so let's take that off. We don't need that. So number one and... You know, this is just... Essel is like real life. You know when you get your hair done and your makeup done, you feel so good. No one could tell you anything. It's like when you get your nails done and you're just talking with your hands so much. Like that's what I feel like with my Avi when uh, I love my outfit and what I got going on. All right. So let's put on the tippy heels and we'll take off the cult heels. The cult heels are nice. I like them. I like them. Even though I wasn't sure because I didn't like the scrunchy part, but I kind of like what I got going on here better. Okay. So we just went to cult. Very happy. The store made me really excited. It gave me a, ooh. So happy about that. All right. So, ooh, let's go to eat animations, guys. I want to check out some dances. Let me see some twerks because my booty is looking so good in this skirt, in the skirt. So let's just see some twerks. All right. Let's let everything rinse in. Oh, these are animated stands? Hmm. Each animation and the post stand are 99 linen each. The fat pack is 50% off. I just wanna see how my hands are. Let me take off my AO for a second, y'all. Cause let's stand and let's stand back on here. Why does it look like I'm kind of bent over like this? <laughs> I have a dance like this, so I don't need to do this, but I do like the dance where you're kind of turning your knees in so your thighs are flipping in, in and out, in and out. Yeah, I have that already, so I don't need that. I have this already, like something similar, the look back. I like this too. Line your body up. Look at that booty booty in. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Blue balls. Who are you giving blue balls? Ow. Ow. I'm going to hit novel up in a second. Ow. So you guys, I have such a treat for you. I'm going to do a podcast on SL relationships and I invited Novel to do it with me. It's going to be tonight at eight o'clock. And I think he had a successful long-term relationship with his partner, but I'll let him tell you guys about it. I'm definitely buying blue, blue balls. Blue balls, getting purchased. Itchy booty, it sounds so nasty. And I'll probably post it on Saturday morning. And Huli, if you guys know him as Huli. Oh, P 
pink butthole. Yeah. Okay. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Oh God, this is so cute. Okay, so are there any more? So toxic, look, the look back at it. Okay, we did those. Okay, we're good here. Let's go on to this toxic animation. What is this? I definitely don't have this one, but I don't want it either. This is like a sort of anime version of a booty twerk. I, I can't ever see myself using this. A little faster. Look at my butt. That looks amazing. I love this skirt. I really do. Throw an ass. Okay. Let me throw that thing. I am throwing that thing. That thing is thinging. Okay. I love this skirt. I kind of like that one, but I, I wish it was bent over a little bit more. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me get that one. Let me throw that thing. Oh, this one is better. This is like exactly what I was saying. Mm-hmm. Throw it back. Throw it back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get it. All right. Ugh, okay. Okay, so I like the asses three and four. So let me grab that and I'm gonna add that to my dance head too. Let me throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Ow! <laughs> All right, I like this, I like it, I like it. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, don't look at that. Mind your business. Okay, those are adult animations. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, what is there anything else? There was like a kind of, ooh, let's go to Grippa Nails because you guys know that's my favorite. So let's check out the nails at Grippa. I should have changed. I should have went like that. All right, let's check out the nails at Grippa. Let me throw some ass. Ew. Throw it back. Throw it back. <laughs> Let me throw that thing. <laughs> okay, I love it. I kind of don't like this movement here. Let me throw that thing is thinking. Did I buy this blue balls? Why did I buy it? There I know there has to be another movement. All right, you guys, I'm entertaining myself too much with this. All right, so what is the other animation for? Let me just do that one again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Throw that thing, Karma. Throw that thing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me stop playing, y'all. Let me stop playing. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be serious. Let's be for real right now. Okay, okay. I don't need you. I'm here all the time. Let me throw it again. I'm going to throw it in Grippa. <laughs> throw it back. Throw it back. Ew. Think like peanut butter. Okay. No jelly. <laughs> all right. Let me stop throwing ass. Okay. So we have the floral nails. I like this. Immediately, yes. 69 Linden, immediately, yes. That's a great price. And I love the duck nails. I don't, I think this is going to be specific for if I wear like something that's black and white. 99 Linden. Grippa, I could buy it because I trust you guys. Okay, let me throw some ass. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. All right, let's see the next place that I want to go to. Uh, is there anything else that I wanted? I have so many of those skirts. I don't need that. What is this? Can I tell you guys something? Hoodlum has the maternity, like the nursing, the clothes, the body enhancements on lock. 
I don't have an SL baby and I've never been SL pregnant, but I love it. All right, let's go to this store. I've never heard of it before, but I'm loving the Nicki Minaj eyeliner. So let's check it out. Take a sip of my coffee, which is almost done and it's so delish. Okay, we made it, guys. Let's throw some ass. Ew. No. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> All right, let me stop, let me stop. Okay, let's be serious, let's be for real. Okay, so we have the Alley Shave Genis Morph Head. That's super cute. I'm definitely gonna make a video with the uh, Morph Head. Is this skin for the Morph Head? Yes, okay, great, great, great. I've been seeing a lot of skin. Now this eyeliner, oh, I can't try it on as a demo. Is this for, ah! <laughs> I bought something that was not for uh, LaLuca. Dang. Okay. It's okay. I think that because I like Jenna so much, I think that eventually I'm going to... Ooh, how pretty and so realistic. Let me inspect you, girl. Jenna's morph. Okay. I'm going to say, can you please... Did you buy the eye... If so, can you please try it on? I don't have the head, but thinking of buying. Guys, this morph head looks super realistic, doesn't it? Is she wearing the eyeliner? I think she might actually be wearing it. Let me see. No, it doesn't look like... It looks like she could be wearing this one. I feel like this face looks so realistic. It's very pretty. I actually think, guys, that she's wearing it. Let's see what she says, if she responds. If, I don't know if she's here, AFK, what the situation is. Looks good, like with the ribs, too. That looks good. I actually think, guys, that she's wearing it, but that's what it looks like. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't pick up eyeliners, I don't think, on the what is she wearing HUD. Let's see. I'm going to be a little stalker. I'm going to be a little... Yes, I bought it. If you could see, it's already worn. You look amazing. So realistic. Yeah, she is wearing it. She looks really good. All right, so no need to do that. I think I'm gonna buy this head. Uh, even though, you know, I sometimes hate to like update my Avi because you feel so attached. It's like an extension of yourself, but I really like it, guys. I've always liked Jenna's, you know that. All right, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. There was this one skirt that I wanted and then I'll end the video. What is this? Is this makeup? Okay, no, I don't need that kind of makeup. It's all right. Oh, oh I found it. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, Spirit. Spirit, the ads look good, but sometimes the fit is off. So let's see. Oh, she said thank you. Yeah, she looks great. All right, we made it here, guys. Let's throw some ass. We made it. <laughs> We got here safely. <laughs> all right, all right, let's relax, let's relax. Let's chill. Uh, so it's not uh, spirit. Let's head over there. I really like this skirt. And there's this shirt at Adams. Uh, it's like, uh, I'll show you guys. Where's the skirt? Where is the sale items? Oh, there it is. There it is. There you are. Hello. It's you I'm looking for. Now this is what I want. I wish they had it in blue too. The white one's nice too. I need a demo because I don't trust y'all. Oh, you guys, it's not for Reborn. 
why would they do this to us? I had a fire outfit in my head for this skirt. I am so disappointed. I had this outfit planned in my head for this skirt. I love this skirt. It's not for Reborn. Lara Petite Legacy Perky and Cupra. I'm so disappointed, guys. Time to cheer myself up. Throw it back. Throw it back. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm really disappointed, though. Damn. I really wanted this for Reborn. I love this skirt. I love it. Love it. Love it. It's okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to upload the video. Uh, I got to figure out the backdrop and... Let me make my mouth move. No one's here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing weekend. I'm going to film a podcast today about SL relationships. Like, is it possible to find a genuine person? Is it possible to find love? We're going to talk about red flags, green flags, and how you could manage your emotions and yourself, your vetting process, how to analyze situations so that you're not dwelling on things too long. Like one of my friends was literally saying to me, you know, I'm not dating in SL or I'm not dating in real life. I have people say that to me in both worlds and in my SL world and real life world. And I was like, for what? And they're like, oh, because I have to heal. Heal for what? Like, I don't, I understand that you need time to recover and get over things, but like not, I don't know, you guys may be unpopular opinion, but not dating for a year or two to heal yourself. I think that's a little extreme, right? So you're going to tell me some person who did you wrong, whether you're a man or a woman is going to shelf you for two years in your love life. And love is the thing that is so inspiring. It's so revitalizing. It's so energizing in our lives. No, I think what you got to do is do an analysis. Say to yourself, you're so hurt. Like, so I'll give you an example. Like one of my friends was like, I'm so hurt because I feel like I poured so much into this partnership and I didn't get anything out of it. But I think that there comes a time like we... <clears throat> have to be honest with ourselves. Anybody we date is a risk, right? And the truth of the matter is, if you have a partner, like your partner, ultimately, we're all looking for, quote unquote, the one, right? And everybody you date is going to be a flop unless you find the one. And the one may not even last because you might get married thinking that you're going to be married to a person for life. And maybe they switch up their health switch ups, personality switched up whatever not to say you're going to get divorced from someone because of their health but meaning if they pass away or something like that and then you'll have to go out and find someone else and that's what happens we have to adapt and we have to move on in terms of people doing you so wrong i don't know if that's necessarily true and this is a, from a person whose marriage ended due to infidelity but i also think infidelity was a symptom of a larger issue and not like a reason to say infidelity is the reason i divorced my husband it's just that we weren't really connecting i i, I would say in my relationship for example when i was married we weren't connecting because we met each other. It's like, oh, you look good. We have so much fun. We went on these amazing dates. We're like gambling and have we love to eat. So we tried all these restaurants and it was a good look. You know, us going out together and dressing up and having drinks and taking pictures for the gram and doing all those things. And it's like, you're so cute. You're so fun to hang out with. Our kids would look so cute. But once we got married, we realized we hadn't talked about a lot of important things. Like, um, I'm Caribbean, right? And he was Black American. And we didn't talk about, like, what rearing our kids would look like. And he thought I was very um, authoritative parenting style. And I thought he was too passive. Uh, we didn't talk about what blending families would look like and what the challenges that would have, like, because he had children prior to us getting married. So blending families is pretty hard. We didn't talk about um, our spiritual beliefs and how that would impact our family unit and how we would navigate our differences where that was concerned. We didn't have like a mission statement for our family or do anything intentionally. So it just felt like we were clashing, 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 clashing. And so what happens when you clash and clash uh, the intimacy and attraction goes down to the point where you're just like living in a house like roommates. Did he cheat? Yeah, he did. But I also understand why he did it. I also understand we were very disconnected as a couple. But 
it doesn't mean I had to take it, right? And he's not a bad man. He's a great father. We have a great co-parent relationship. If I say I'm burnt out and I need you to take Jackson for a day, even if it's my turn, he does it. If I say like this commute is too much for me and can you pick up your kid and take him to school in Manhattan so I could just worry about getting myself to work and back, he does it. Like, so he's a good partner in those kind of ways, but our relationship didn't work. Um, I, it's just my pride could not go back on the cheating thing because I just feel like I did, I put too much into it and I feel like you risked it all for some coochie and I just couldn't do it, right? There are women who would have kept their relationship and it would have worked out. Um, I look at the man he is today and I'm like, damn, why couldn't he be that person when he was in the relationship with me? But we have to evolve and grow as people. And I did a lot of things wrong too. Like I was focused and putting a lot of stress on all the wrong things. I remember he said to me, he was like, um, fuck this house. Like, why you have to be so obsessed about cleaning and all this other shit? And um, he was like, we are both working. Uh, we literally went to bed at two o'clock. We're up at six o'clock. We got to drop these kids off and do all these things. And you're worried about the wrong shit. You're sitting here arguing with me fussing at the kids because the house is not up to your standard or whatever it is. Fuck this house. Like wash the dishes, clean the bathroom and we'll worry about the rest. Like, cause we have to be realistic about what actually could be done. And I'm like, no, no, no. Cause in my head, I'm thinking as the woman of the house, people are going to, if anyone popped in on us, they would judge our home and they would look at me and think that I wasn't doing what I had to do. And I was worried about what it looked like to other people versus what it felt like for us. And I just gave you guys a whole lot of information I necessarily wasn't prepared to give. But the point is, sometimes you got to analyze your situation and just see what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Where could I have kind of made a left turn or a right turn to kind of help fix this situation how did i make things worse how did i make things better and then you go into your next relationship as a better version of who you were now let's say you just have a piece of shit person it's a girl who is like maybe a little bit of a user really selfish self-absorbed self-centered or a guy who's like that right or have more negative traits than positive traits and they are emotionally draining you or somebody who's not ready to date maybe they don't have their basics together move around move around why because if you stay in something because you feel like oh i have a connection to somebody if you stay in something like that what's gonna happen is they're going to drain the fuck out of you and you're gonna show up to a relationship bitter guarded with walls around yourself right and it's not gonna work so um i think that's what our podcast is gonna be about we're gonna talk about you know are there genuine people in sl or is this person genuinely not interested in you anymore and you're labeling it you're mislabeling what the situation is so it's going to be a really interesting talk we're going to film it today at 8 p.m slt time and i hope to post it saturday morning because people don't typically watch videos on friday nights like they're doing their friday night thing in real life or in sl thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one and um of course another disjointed video i had fun filming it and i hope you have fun watching it love you guys bye